Hello and welcome back to SAP Plant Maintenance Training. Uh, this is Farooq from QBRP. In this session, we are going to see how to create a maintenance order directly. Previously, we saw a maintenance order being created from a notification. So we can create a maintenance order directly from a notification. So what we need to create a maintenance order is a master, some master data like equipment and equipment task list. Uh, you can go and create a new equipment and then create a new task list and in the task list you can give a description in the operation what needs to be done for example maybe a repair or replacement of a part and uh, if you want you can also assign the component directly into your task list so what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the equipment and equipment task list that I already have and uh, I'm going to start with the creation of order the transaction is IW31 So we go into transaction IW31. Here what we need to do is we need to say what order type, the equipment to be used, the planning plant and the business area. Order type PM01, corrective maintenance, equipment, mistake. Monia motor planning plant is 1000, business area is 1000. So from here we will go into the operation tab. So let's put some detail here, let's say gasket replacement in the operations. So in the operation let me put some work duration say 2 hour, 1 person, 2 hour. Then let's go into the component and give some components here. So the components say we need to say o-ring, let's say gasket. Oh. Is a stock item L, plant is 1000. gasket 5 L triple zero quantity here also let's give 5 so that's about it our order so we can now go into schedule let's check the settlement rule first Okay, settlement rule is already there, so it's already going to the cost center. Go back. Uh, we can go and schedule and then it should give us a cost. Schedule. Uh, let's take a look at the costing. It's not done any cost yet. Let's just save the order so that everything gets updated in the background and then we'll come back into IW32. It's determining the cost now. So an order number has been created, order has been saved. Let's go into order change. So once we are in the order change, we can take a look at the costs. In the cost tab, so we have the cost, the plan costs are already there now. Let's release the order. So once we release it, then it is, uh, okay. It should become available for the technician to process. So I think we, I need to do the permits so permits are there let me approve the permit so once I've approved it I can release it so the status will change from created to release order will be released after update so once I save it it will be released
So the order has been released. Let's uh, we can have a look again into the order to see the status. Status has changed. So the next step for us will be to do a order confirmation, which is transaction IW41. In IW41, so the order number is already there. Go into the goods movement tab. Okay. I think I made the same mistake again of not doing the back flash. Let me go back into the order and change this one and put a back flash indicator on the components so that they can be they can become mandatory. So in the order go back to components. So components are already there. Let's go back and let's go to the right side. This is our back flush indicator. Let's make it click it and resave the order. Now let's go back into order confirmation. In the order confirmation, if you go into goods movement, we should be able to see both components. So the order confirmation is like the technician is saying that he has done the order, everything has been corrected no remaining work this is a f uh, final confirmation so we have the option here of saying okay although we planned for five but we have only used four and although we planned for five gaskets but we only needed to use three so i've changed so it will have an impact on the cost actual versus uh, plan we'll do the uh, final confirmation there's no more work is remaining so once we post this one it should do some sort of a goods movement in the background and in the goods movement in the background it will post the two components that we have against the movement type 261 as we saw 261 is basically good issue against an order standard SAP so finally we get a message uh, confirmation saved goods movement 2 have processed none has failed uh, what I would like to do is I would like to introduce another concept here which is uh, by a transaction called COGI. So sometimes it is possible that your goods movement will not process successfully due to some reason and you might have something like failed one or two. So if you get any goods movement failure, the process to rectify is to go to transaction called COGI. Give your plant, you want to give your material or anything else also otherwise you can just execute here. So it will show you all the goods movement, automatic goods movement which have failed. So the reason you want to know what is the reason of failure, select your line, press on this, on this bell icon. It will tell you what is the reason of failure. A small window will pop up with a message telling you what, is, what was the reason of failure. So storage location, valuation type C3 does not exist. So there is no stock of this material for valuation type C3 which is why it is failing so if you have processed this one you have rectified the error then the next step will be to double click on this one line so it will sort of open the confirmation screen in the background via COGI transaction press post so if you have corrected it so if you have not corrected it it will again give you an error that so let's see what is the error what is the message that comes now because I have not corrected this thing. So basically it should come back and give me the same error. So zero goods movement have been successfully executed. So no movement has been done. Okay, so that was one uh, uh, concept to tell you how to rectify if you got any goods issue errors. So the next step for us is to go into our order, do a technical completion, variance calculation, settlement and then do a business which is the same that we did uh, as previously so i will show you i will i think process them one more time let's go into iw32 let's do functions complete technically So this is completed. So if you go back into the order, we should have a TECO as a status. The next step is to do variance calculation. 
KKS2. It will ask for a controlling area. Change the period. This is your order. I will remove the test run and execute it to do the variance calculation. So this is this is most of this is mostly the financial integration result posting completed with no errors. Let's go back. The next step is to do settlement process KO88. Transaction KO88. Order number, settlement period, physical year. I will change, uh, remove the test, uh, test one check mark and process. So the settlement will happen now. All the costs of the order will be settled to the cost center that we have given earlier. 100% processed. Settlement has been executed. We can go in here to see the variances and then we can go and look in the accounting documents. So let's go back into the order and have a look at costing. What was the cost? The final cost, the actual versus plan. So our plan cost was 36, but our actual cost was 19 because we removed some quantities and uh, quantities of the components. So this is the quantity that we were planning, but the quantity that we used was, you know, I think, four and three. So what we need to do now is to do a comp business complete uh, that can be done from here directly. So the order has now been completed, it has been saved. Uh, if you want to look at the transactions, uh, goods issue transactions done against this order, we can look at them by transaction called MB51. Plant S lock movement type that we have is 261. So let's process. It will show us every thought. I should have changed the date because it's now giving going to give us everything which is 261 against this plant. Let's go back. Let's put today's date 11.05.15 execute so now it will only give me today's date uh, let's see what we can do here okay i will try to see if i can put an order number here somewhere Okay, so let's see if we have got order number. So we have got something called order number. Let's take it here. Now it's going to show us the order number. So this, if we sort it by order number, so these are the two transactions which have been done on this last order that we have done. Okay, so that's about it. I will close this, uh, end this session here and in the next session we will meet again with a new topic. Thank you.